Hello viewers, we all pray some time or the other and we usually pray for ourselves. Jesus said to love others and one way in which we can express our love for others is to pray for them. So let us begin. Let us pray for our beloved Pope Francis. Let's pray that God may grant him good health and wisdom to be a true shepherd to his people. We lift up in prayer. May 2021. Let us pray that those in charge of finance will work with governments to regulate the financial sphere and protect citizens from its dangers. Mientras la economía real, la que crea trabajo, está en crisis, cuánta gente sin trabajo, los mercados financieros nunca han estado tan inflados como ahora. Qué lejos está el mundo de las grandes finanzas, de la vida de la mayoría de las personas. Las finanzas si no están reguladas, se convierten en pura especulación animada por algunas políticas monetarias. Esta situación es insostenible, es peligrosa para evitar que los pobres vuelvan a pagar consecuencias. Hay que regular estrictamente la especulación financiera. Especulación, quiero subrayar el término. Que las finanzas sean instrumentos de servicio, instrumentos para servir a la gente y cuidar la casa común. Todavía estamos a tiempo de poner en marcha un proceso de cambio global para practicar una economía diferente, más justa, inclusiva, sostenible, que no deje a nadie atrás. Hagámoslo y recemos para que los responsables del mundo financiero colaboren con los gobiernos a fin de regular los mercados financieros para proteger a los ciudadanos en peligro. We pray for our Archbishop Philip Neri Ferrao. We pray for all the work that he is doing to draw the community in the Diocese of Goa and Daman. Let us pray for all persons who have consecrated their life to the Lord. Grant them the grace to continue to work in the vineyard. Let us pray in a special way for our diocesan priests, especially those who celebrate their birthday today. Let's now pray for the Catholic charismatic renewal, that it might be an instrument of renewal of the entire church. We pray for the mega convention to be held in Mumbai in October 2022 to mark the 50th anniversary of the CCR in India. All powerful and merciful God, hear our prayers and bless us. Help us to know your will and to do it with courage. Accept all our intentions and our work today. Make us aware of your mercy throughout the day. Cast out 
out from our hearts the darkness of sin. Let the light of your face shed its light upon us. Illumine our day and lead us in ways that are level and smooth. Lord, bless and protect us from all evil and sickness. Let us experience your compassionate love. Look tenderly on us. Unite our families with the cords of love. Make us instruments of peace in the world. Help us not to be self-centered, but be helpful and merciful towards all. Enable us to be compassionate towards the elderly and honor them. Lord, help us to share our joy and our love with the sick and the suffering. Bless and protect all students attending schools and colleges. Protect all travelers and lead them to safety. Comfort the farmers and protect their interest. Bless and protect our children and our families. Bless our government, our country and the world. Let's now pray for the prayer groups in Goa that they may be an instrument to encourage spiritual growth in all those who attend the prayer meetings. Let us keep the following petitions in our prayers. For a lady having UTI issues, for two 70-year-old neighbors, both with COVID. For a young lady with COVID, having no bed at the hospital. A Kenyan lady settled in Goa requests prayers for her family here and in Kenya. For two gents in GMC with COVID. For a family all having COVID. For a pregnant lady who is COVID positive. For another pregnant lady whose child is formed in the fallopian tube. For a one and a half year old child with COVID. For a lady who is unconscious and on ventilator after a stroke. For a couple who is sick. For a lady with COVID. For a priest who is critical. For a lady having stool issues. For the staff of a hospital now closed down because all are affected with COVID. For a family all with COVID. For a lady in critical condition. For a priest who is on ventilator. A man requires a prayers for a lady whose oxygen level is decreasing. For a parish core team member critical with COVID. 
for a young boy with covid for a goan priest admitted in mangalore for covid a person in icu having lung infection and the required drug is not available please pray for the souls of william ekka and simon let us pray for all those afflicted with covid-19 let us repent and plead to the lord to deliver us all from the covid attacks let us pray for all the doctors nurses and paramedics let us pray for the success of the rosary campaign initiated by pope francis during the month of may dedicated to mother mary and the rosary pray also for all your personal intentions finally let us thank the lord for all the answered prayers let us lift up all our intentions mentioned in this program as we pray together our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy, holy mary, mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it as was, was in the beginning, beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen you are not alone your brothers and sisters will support you in prayer if you have a prayer intention all you need do is to whatsapp 800 745-7376 or 992-187-8446 or make a voice call between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Be assured that a committed group of persons will lift your prayer request to the Lord.